Finally in our main event tonight against Victor Cayo. 22-0 Victor Cayo, the unbeaten prospect from the Dominican Republic. You talk about confidence. Cayo is full of it. And he has a big one tonight stepping up to face Julio Diaz. That is set to come your way in our main event. You know, you just touched on something for our main event that makes it very interesting, I think, for our audience to stay tuned and the way to take a peek at. You talk about the confidence of the 22 and all untested, undefeated Kyle, and it's so important for Diaz to take that confidence away. So that means it's important for the more experienced Diaz to get a good start, Joe. Mm -hmm. Not to let that confidence grow. If he does that, Diaz could be in a lot of trouble. And Diaz, of course, is coming off of a TKO loss, a stunning TKO loss. So the beginning of that fight is more important Crucial. than sometimes fights you right. are as far as the beginning, you know, quarters of it. Where, as you just said, Diaz has to immediately basically say, you don't belong here. Start putting that in the head of the confident Kyle. It's a good combination from Derek Rossi. Nice work with the right hand. <laughs> Round six of our heavyweight co-feature, Carl Davis Drummond, who's not working enough. In that last round, Rossi had a 23 to six connect advantage, and that's been the tone that's been set all night long. I tell you, if there was such a thing as an allergic reaction to too many punches, Neither one of these guys would ever sneeze. I mean, there'd be and there'd be no rash on Drummond. Not at all. <laughs> I mean, he wouldn't break out at all. No. Rossi's just dealing with what's in front of him. Yet he could work more, no doubt about it. Yeah, he and could take do more, more advantage of it. But he's taking what's given to him and just coasting along here. And Drummond is not pressing the gas enough. Clean shutout on Teddy Storker. And you know, again, taking nothing away from Rossi, but he's not being forced to outfight Drummond. He's just out navigating him. You know, he's just out maneuvering him. I mean, he turned his back. Yeah. And you know, Drummond he didn't out, chase him down. And Drummond left him alone. So he needs to tell Drummond this is a fight. You know, and it's going to be over before you know it. And you can't be talking in the locker room about what you didn't do. It's time to be thinking about what you need to do. And now. Right hand from Rossi again. And you know why that right hand came? Because Drummond walked straight in with no jab. If there was a jab coming from Drummond, that right hand probably doesn't come from Rossi because he goes defensive. Four rounds to go. We'll see if Drummond can find a spark. Let's take a look at the action from tonight so far. Rossi, all Rossi, picking the spots, fighting on the outside, you know, getting the hands off quick, pot shotting a little bit, navigating around the ring a little bit. Using that uppercut on the inside, just being the busier guy right here, he turns his back, and that tells you part of what you need to know, that he's got a guy who's not looking to go after him in Drummond, and that's why Drummond is behind in this fight. Round seven, Carl Davis Drummond came in with a 25-1 and record. The only loss of his career was a respectable one to Ruslan Shigayev. You know some Joe, I think Drummond could take some lessons from Rossi, football lessons. You know, Rossi was the linebacker, wasn't he? Uh, defensive end. Defensive end. You, well, you know that they ship those guys to linebacker. Sure. And you know that they teach him the fundamentals of moving parallel down the line with the runner. Don't follow the runner. Go down the line, keep him in front. So, you know, Rossi could teach a couple, of course, he doesn't want to teach him, but... Drummond should go to football camp, maybe learn those lessons of going down the line so he can learn how to cut the ring down because he's not going down the line here. He's just following Rossi around and allowing Rossi to use that ring. Mm -hmm. Rossi is turning any corner he wants. And a little faint and jab. And some good things from Rossi. You know, I should say that. Some good technical things. Being left alone, being... Not a, no pressure being put on him. To me, the test of a guy doing things technically and physically is, is he doing it under pressure? 
Well, it's not Rozzy's fault that Drummond's not pressing him. I'm sure Rozzy is not unhappy about it, but Rozzy being left alone, doing some good technical things, showing that he's learned some things, picking spots, you know, defensively moving after his last punch, changing range, getting out of town a little bit. Right there, 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 has been, there has been growth with Derek Rossi, no doubt about it. He was a big, aggressive athlete early on in his boxing career, and now he is becoming more of a boxer. Well, he learned from our terrific guest host in the studio, Mr. Chambers, that it's not just about being big and aggressive. <laughs> he learned that lesson on that night, or part of that lesson. Of course, Eddie Chambers, in this generation, would be considered an undersized heavyweight, but as skilled as anybody is in the sweet science. Fast hands, great overall skill set. And it's risen him to a 35 and 1 record, and Ring Magazine has him number three in the world, just behind your heavyweight, Teddy, the 17 and 0 Alexander Povetkin. Yeah, I want Eddie to do me a favor. I want him, I know they're negotiating for that fight with Klitschko with a mandatory in that fight. I want Eddie to go over there. Of course, he wants to win a fight, but I want him to soften him up. Eddie, yes, please soften him up, please. For Thank for you. End of seven. I'm here with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office PAO boxing team, and I'm glad to have him here with me. Hey, you guys think we're going to have a good fight tonight? Yeah! Would you like to hang out and watch while I do the fight plan? Yeah! yeah! All right, I need Saul. We're going to get this done. Anybody see Saul, by the way? First Saul, you seen him? Huh? I mean, can't do it without him. So what, who buried Saul? Well, all right, get Saul unburied, and then we're going to be back in a little while for the fight plan. That should be fun. Just another day at the beach for Saul, but the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, the PAL boxing team. I know you've spent a lot of quality time with those young men when you come down here to South Florida. And good we're going to take part in the fight plan. It was glad to have them. They're good people. Let's look at the punch track here between Drummond and Rossi because I think this is quite revealing. This is landed by round. Drummond came out 15-12 in the first round and then landing three in the sixth and just five in the seventh. I mean, the ignition's almost off on Carl Davis Drummond. You know, it was funny. Early on in the fight, I said, you know, it should be competitive. Not a lot to separate each guy. Fairly even match on paper. Who's tougher mentally? Who wants to fight more? And so far, there's only been one guy who's really wanted to fight for the most part, and that's been Rossi. And again, he hasn't had to really go and, you know, get involved in a thrill in Manila. He hasn't had to really out-fight Roman, just out-maneuver him. He can out cute him a little bit. He talked about the mental side of the game with us, Teddy, and the last time we had him it was against Chambers. Since then, he went and spent three months training in China with the Sholin Temple monks and dissecting the mental side of being a fighter. Well, he, he said he got there, the first thing they said is, are you a fighter? He said, yes. He said, then you will not, you will not eat for a week. They tested him that way. Yeah, discipline. Putting him in an uncomfortable place and seeing how he behaves because you're in an uncomfortable place when you're in that squared circle you better know how to make the right choices so that's a good start and it was give credit to Rossi for seeking that help out you know after the couple losses he was looking for any help he could get but give him credit for understanding that 75 percent of this game joe is mental so if you can get help in those dimensions go get it there's Good a left hand shot. to the body from Drummond. Best punch he's landed of the night. About the fifth punch he's thrown tonight. <laughs> right. I mean, you don't need any fancy calculators to keep the punch numbers with Drummond tonight. You just need one hand and the digits on that one hand.